Hi, so my name is Eric Colasar, and we're going to be presenting Envision. Um, our tagline is Realizing the Power of Synergy. It's not just us, we work with a team of developers um, out of the Netherlands as well as content developers uh, such as Access HANA, uh, Planetary Healing, ECR. So there's multiple different people that we work at, work with and it's not just our system, it's also our user system. So our tagline is Realizing the Power of Synergy because we improve and we, we, we try to improve the system. It's not a stagnant system, it is growing. Um, what this presentation is about is trying to understand, to, to help you understand the principles behind of what, what we're actually doing. So the overview of this, what it is, it's a holographic matching tool. The purpose is to find resonant connections and to reconnect items. And the how is the technology based on holographic scaling. So we're going to cover all these in detail and hopefully it'll be a little bit clearer at the end of this presentation of what our software actually does. So we start with the basic principle is we're all connected at some level. And there's a lot of defi different definitions for this. Some people call it the holographic universe, the divine matrix, global consciousness. But at some level, there's something that weaves us all together and there's something that, that connects us all together. And most people can agree with this. The second principle we're going to be working with is, is resonant connections. So very simply, you know, we hear resonant, oh, I resonate with that, I resonate with this. Really, really simply, all for our purposes here is one item matches another item. So this could happen with people all the time. So you walk into a room um, where you don't know anybody, um, let's say a party or wh whatever it may be, a class that you're doing, um, and you resonate or you start talking to some person, um, usually for a reason, and you find out that you have a resonant connection. So you have the same similar background, you have a, a similar interest, you both uh, had a similar experience, whether it be travel or a school um, or, or some class that you did, maybe not at the same time, but there's a resonant connection. When, when that happens, basically it's one item matches another item. So in a, in a person, it's basically you have the same backgrounds are matching. Um, and you're able to share with that person and basically have a resonant connection with that person. Greg Braden um, describes the holographic nature of the universe and it's a hologram is a pattern that it's whole and complete into itself and at the same time it's part of an even greater pattern that's whole and complete into itself while at the same time part of an even greater pattern. So this just continues and continues and continues and this is why we chose the representation of the Nautilus shell here because it's basically repeating itself, repeating itself, repeating itself. Um, the, the, the really interesting or you know, the staggering part, and this is where Greg Braden's word is, the beauty of the hologram is that in any place in the pattern of the hologram where you make one little change, that change is mirrored to the rest of the hologram. So this is going to be interesting um, when you actually see the software work or when we apply it. Um, the Greg Braden's holographic nature of the universe, um, basically there was an experiment done where scientists basically would split a single photon into two separate particles, creating what they call uh, twins with identical properties. And then what they did is they fired these both particles away from one another in opposite directions down fiber optic um, cable. And fiber optic cable had many choices where they could choose. Um, and what they found is that every single time, so if this was tube 82 and this was tube 82, um, when they would fire that twin down this fiber optic cable, it would choose the same exact route. So that was a pretty interesting d discovery. Um, and in the 1990s, scientists working on the U.S. Army wanted to investigate whether or not the power of feelings continues to have effect on living cells, specifically DNA, once those cells are no longer part of the body. So what they did is they sat the subject down and they exposed them to pictures. So pictures of puppies or kitties or babies. But then on the other side, they also exposed them to pictures of uh, wars or tanks or things that weren't that pleasant. And what they noticed was that the, the DNA would change in the body as it would outside the body. So there was, there was the same change that was happening in the body was happening outside the body. So then they thought, well, that's interesting. So they moved it further away to the next complex, uh, to the next building, then to the next complex. Well, eventually they got up to 350 miles away, and 
basically what they fi they found out that there was no time lapse um, and the ex exact change that happened in the body happened 350 miles away with no time lapse. So what this kind of alludes to um, is Albert Einstein's spooky action at a distance and he basically coined this, fa this phrase um, to describe this counterintuitive phenomenon in which particles appear to be instantaneously influenced um, even though when they're kilometers apart. So again remember the first slide where there's something that connects us all. Um, well today scientists call this quantum entanglement and it forms the cornerstone of the quantum world. So a holographic matching tool. So Envision is based it is an advanced application of the holographic principle of the universe. So some of the science we just went over. Our everyday experience is a holographic projection into a higher dimensional space based on an informational process and a lower dimensional reference system. So congruently we have two uh, it's actually the same, but we have two different things going on. So we have the physical body where we can hear, you can hear me. Um, if I was sitting next to you, you could see me. So we have our five senses, right? But we also have a higher dimensional space um, that, that's going on as well congruently. So all we're doing is we're basically tapping into that higher dimensional holographic projection into a higher dimensional space. Psychics or intuitives work there all the time. This is just an idea of where cameras are going, and this is 2008. If you Google CNN, or if you Google CNN a hologram, you'll find this picture. You can actually find a clip of this. This is an idea to get you an idea of where cameras are going. Just the technology is, is moving so so quickly. Let me blow this up real quick for you. So, a holographic matching tool. A holograph. Well, how do we how do we do this? What we do is a holographic token is generated generated for each item, for the subject, and for every item in the database. So then we store the holographic token in a database cluster, and we visualize resonances between these holographic tokens result in analytical insights. So what do, how does this work? Well, what we do is we create a hologram for the person, a subject, which is right here, and for every item in the database, so whether it be an herb, an acupuncture point, um, an affirmation, we basically have all those holograms in the database. And then we store those in database clusters and we visualize resonances between the holographic tokens resulting in analytical insights. Um, for you, those who may have seen the system, you can see there's patterns that kind of develop and that's where we're able to see um, really try to get to the underlying cause and best solution as quickly as possible. So uh, a reconnecting is what we call when we basically are trying to um, help the hologram or correct the hologram. Um, when reconnecting is creating a holographic token based on a new digital note containing both the subject, so the person, and information, and that may be an affirmation. So just as a hologram contains the original image of all of its many parts, any change made to just one of those segments becomes reflected everywhere through the, the pattern. So again, remember the the Greg Braden slide. Let me just his um, if we tie this back in. Here's the staggering part. The beauty of the hologram is that in any place in in the pattern of the hologram where you make one little change, the change is mirrored through the rest of the hologram. So that's what when we call reconnecting, that's our goal, that's what we're um, uh, uh, trying to accomplish. So it's it's a very interesting uh, advanced application of, of uh, principles of holographic scaling of the universe and we've seen really really good effects on people and we're able to basically um, really quickly identify where those trends are and then be able to figure out a solution from there. So again reconnecting is creating a hologram, holographic token based on a digital note containing both the subject and information. So just as the hologram contains the original image in all of its many parts, any change made to just one of those segments becomes reflected everywhere through the pattern. So, 
A single change in one place can make a difference everywhere. And the subtle power of the hologram is that it offers us tremendous leverage to make a tremendous change on a large scale by, only one, by alternating only in one place. So a holographic matching tool, um, the system, the base system includes the following. So I'm going to try to clear this up too because I know there might be some confusion about the base system versus the content module. So the base system includes the following. Affirmations, allergens, dental, emotions, essences, frequencies, Gwen Foster protocol, homeopathy, indicators, nutrition, pathogens, quantum K, spine, symptoms, and then TCM, which consists of acupuncture and herbs. So this is the base system, what, the ba what we call the base system comes with. Um, it's also expandable, so it's customizable. So if you work with your own, uh, let's say, line of... Uh, whatever it may be, essential essences or um, herbs, you can add those to the database. It's not a closed system at all. This is just a, a pretty comprehensive um, start. With the hardware, what it comes with is the holographic connector device, which is used for imprinting or making remedies, um, a holographic connector device cord, an authentication token. It is very secure. Um, you do have to have a token to access the, the system. Um, and the instruction manual, which is also available online, but it's about a 200-page document, so that it gives you, um, there's a lot to that. We spend a lot of time and effort, so you, you, you get a lot of um, information available to you. So some of, the, some of the questions of why is it online? Well, we put it online for a, a lot of different reasons, but here's just 10 of them. So you can work from anywhere on, the, anywhere on any computer, um, you don't need to download or install software, so basically every time you go to um, where it's hosted, it's the most up-to-date model. It's a, it uses a pay-as-you-go model, so we sell it in subscriptions, so what that means, the same as like an antivirus, um, so you buy it for a year or two years or five years, however you want to do it, and there's nothing to own or maintain, so you don't have to... Um, but this, you don't have to purchase new software. Um, it, basically, if you get a new computer, all you have to have is that key. It's also scalable, so from 50 to 50,000, how many people, how many subjects you want to have, um, you, you can start out with as little as 50, and you can go up as high as you want. Um, obviously, there's a different uh, cost associated with each one of those. It's always up to date, so it's just like when you go on to Google and you log on to Google and during Halloween there's a little pumpkin and during Valentine's Day there's a heart it's all, so it's always up to date there's no specific platform requirements um, the server speed this is huge so the amount of data that we're crunching or calculating that we're what we're able to do is um, you would literally have to link about 10 modern um, desktops together to be able to um, have the same speed that we have so it and we didn't think that people were going to be purchasing servers to purchase our software so what we did is we put on a server um, yeah, a very secure server and we're able to use the speed of that um, you also have the ability to do instant research because it is online um, there's a one click um, you basically can click and do a google search very very quickly so um, we wanted to harness the power of the internet there's there's a tremendous amount of knowledge out there um, or I should say a tremendous amount of information, um, some good, some better, and we're able to basically do instant research on any topic that we want. Um, and you never pay for updates. So uh, with, with our system, you basically pay for that increment, like we talked about, the one year, uh, two year, five year, and you're not going to pay for an update during that time. It, it's just whatever that is, it, is everything is included. We also have weekly support calls, um, or I should say three times a month we have a support call on Thursday. They're open to our users, so if you have any questions, um, you're basically able, uh, we're available, so we can try to help you as much as we can. Um, the expandability, we mentioned this a little bit earlier though, we, you can create your own work sets. Um, the current content modules is Access HANA, which is a confirmation of uh, uh, confirmation of Hannah Kroger's work which is a very very complete body of work um, ECR um, and we currently have it's not on here but it's John 
Cook's Planetary Healing that has to do with emotional content actually kind of integrated into the system. Um, so, and, and we're also developing, we have three other uh, content modules that are being developed. So what a content module is, is let me just explain this to you. The base system is one price. A content module is like a plug and play. So you can purchase um, an Access HANA content module or purchase ECR or purchase any of the content modules and plug them in. What we try to do with the content modules is have training that goes along that's associated with it so that you understand the system. Um, there is a class required with Access HANA um, as well as ECR. John Cook's Planetary Healing, basically what that is, is we've included it, but if you want the we've included it in the base system, which it comes with, but if you want the training, I think it's like $150. We try to stay pretty reasonable um, with, our, with our pricing and to make it available to the, as many people as possible. We feel like it's a, a great tool um, and it has the ability to help a lot of people. We wanted to try to keep it as, as affordable as possible. So basically envision the base system. We're offering a state-of-the-art solution that's expandable and customizable and quantum leaps ahead of any other system. So if you do have any questions, um, I, I hope that you contact us via our, our website. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and have a great day. Thank you.